Hello Hasbro fans, this is Seth the Destroyers, back again with yet another Star Wars action figure review. And today, taking a look at what a 2012 The Clone Wars figures it is, the new version of Anakin Skywalker, so and nothing really of, too exciting. Instead of saying you're welcome in a very rude tone, I'm actually going to say thank you because Rory's the one who actually got the figure. Yeah. And of course, Graham is here with me it. again. Yeah. You're welcome for bringing it. So, we'll get to the figure a bit more in a moment. Packings included, uh, a dice as usual. What the most pointless things in life has yeah, to be Yeah, and said. look how the die, the die are very different. Also notice how I don't care. Also notice that everybody knows how different they are. And if you don't care, why do you show it anyway? There is a stand, of course. Unfortunately, Graham, being as forgetful as he is, forgot the character card, so... Let's face it, it's photoshopped, it's terrible, no one cares about them, so why should I bring it? Honestly, does it honestly matter that I forgot? Why did you bring the figure in any case, anyway? Because you asked me to. Yeah. Here is the packaging with a very difficult image on it. In fact, you probably can't see it. <laughs> it's just so hideous, it has to hide itself. Yeah, it's true. Um, the number of the figures, Clone Wars 1, the number first one. figure Lisa's packaging. Number one. Number one for number not so number one character. Um, there is the kid feature demonstrated over there, the, the fire lightsaber launcher. Yep. The packaging reads Anakin strikes down bow droids off a whirling lightsaber attack. <coughs> Never happened. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Um, and other figures in this wave include Savage Opress, Yoda, um, Chewbacca, and Aqua Droid. All repacks except that Chewbacca is a bit of a variation. Abomination. So, yeah, variation. It's abomination. It was definitely a variation. Abomination. Variation. So, Graham, do you want to show the lightsaber launch uh, accessory? Uh, the abomination here. Well, you can see why I call it an abomination. Graham, never put it so much Never used to the in the entire series. Never used in the films. And I think you're holding it off screen. Move it over a bit. Just, uh, yeah, well, and I mean, even if it did clip onto his arm, it'd probably make him fall over or something like that. It's just stupid. And watch. Like, I can't, yeah, if it comes right out, I can't even torture Rory with it, it just... Excuse me! Yeah, look, I mean, look, hey. it only barely hit him. Probably made, it probably tickled him more than anything else. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah, it exactly. only tickled It tickled, me. it tickled, if even, and it's not even the good tickle, it's more like... Um, upset tickling. Uh, if you've seen a scuba soak review, you'll know that this was the original version of the lightsaber launcher with a different yeah lightsaber abomination with a different color scheme. Basically, this scuba soaker one is like this pair is more gray. This is like a darker blue, and then of course you have this, which is blue here with Anakin and it's green terrible. on Ahsoka. And yes, as Graham keeps saying to himself, it's terrible. So. I mean, it's actually so so much of a bad accessory. I can't even hit Ruri properly with it. Yeah, so I don't know why you'd want to though. So here is the Anakin figure. Would I say it's better than last year's version? Overall, no. It it is improved in some ways over last Stop. year's version. Yeah, Graham is such a failure. I know. Uh, Connie and hit me for a couple of years. Um, That's how bad the accessory is. So bad you are as well. Um, and yeah, as, as bad as my ex-wife. Graham yeah. shop for a moment. And this figure isn't really it. It's better in some areas than last year's one, but in other areas, it is not better. I mean, both figures are in their own way better than each other, to be honest with you. And there are some ways this figure is better. Um, I would have said the head sculpt is better on this one, but for a couple of reasons, which I'll point out and as to why it isn't. I mean, look at this Anakin face. That is definitely not Anakin-like at all. Um, and this one... The expressions on the face are pretty good. The face sculpt, aside from the sky, which has felt for some reason in the class line, I've always had problems with the sky. Um, in the vintage collection and all, they've never really had problems really that much of detailing Anakin sky, but Clone Wars, they haven't done a proper Anakin sky at all. Um, and the actual face is out good. Um, probably, a, except for Space Rank, it's probably the best Anakin face in the line, but. It's killed by two main flaws. The hair isn't producted properly like most hair is. It's glued on. Like I mean, you could, you could pull it off if you wanted. To. Exactly. But I, I mean, don't want to. I do, so I'll pull it off. <laughs> I don't need well, You bought it. Yeah. 
So it's kind of wasting your money. Yeah, as well as that, for some re- weird reason, but has first so they're weird. The head is on a hinge joint rather than a ball joint, like the end of this second head. I mean, look, ball joint. Um, just try and take the head off, Graham. You have to put it back on. <laughs> See, look, ball joint, and this. Hinge joint. <laughs> Don't know why Hasbro decided to do that, but it's just so weird. It really is a better face sculpt, but what kills it is the head. And actually, M- M- skipped out on this accessory. He does, of course, come with his standard lightsaber. Nothing really too special. Also, and it doesn't mention- sit in his hand with the you know the elastic band. Yeah, I had to put that back on as well as the in the Dara figure. Yeah. Um, and really, uh, the like I said, the head is just killed by those two floors. Otherwise, it would have been a great Anakin head sculpt. Um, and the robes are better detailed, I guess. I think that's one of the few improvements over last year's version. It looks more like the show. Um, and just to use the picture on the back of the packaging as an example from the episode Monster. I do believe the robes are detailed better here. I'm not sure if you can actually see that image, but... It is detail better in my opinion on the show. I mean, the second robes were fine too, um, but it's just like not as good. Um, and the figure's a lot less skinnier, which I think is not quite accurate. Is it grim? Is he is he meant to be skinnier like this one or more uh, bulky? I don't know. I'd say I'd go with skinnier. I mean, he always looked yeah. quite skinny on the actual TV mm. show and in the films itself. Like, So I think that mm. uh, skinny would be the better approach. Mm. But Hasbro made this figure like an absolute twig. So they made sucks, him fail okay? too skinny. <laughs> yeah. Lesson yeah. learned, kids. Hasbro sucks. Yeah, buy Lego and steady and they're overpriced. <laughs> or just don't buy, you know, or spend your money on oil, gas, whatever's important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then... Um, or Halo figures. No, they're, they're, yeah, no. they suck. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but the robes are detailed better. The skirt is also new. Um, uh, you have a kind of soft good skirt, I think it is. Um, it's okay. It wasn't necessary, but it is nice. I technically, I actually tend to prefer the skirt of the previous icon figure. I'm not really a fan of soft goods that much. It's but better whatever. for the articulation as well. I mean, look, yeah. the leg room is just way better. If you go to, like, uh, move that one's legs, it'll just stretch the skirt a bit. I mean, yeah. and also, you probably can't see very well, but the skirt's coming out. Like, the soft part is actually coming out gradually. Yeah, and as far as articulation goes, except for the head, of course, being on a hinge joint, the articulation is the exact same as last year's one. For an all-new figure, that is pretty stupid. They could have easily added ankles. And, I mean, this was such a pointless figure, I mean... We've already had e- that yeah. so many times. Even, it, even if it was a scuba or a slave at Sargerian so Disguise, I, can, I would find it hard to bring myself to buy it, but... This version, another one the same. I mean, that's just stupid, Hasbro. I mean, come on. And then you release, suck. then releasing yet another variation of this d- Anakin gear in a mini rig. I mean, what the hell, Hasbro? One was bad enough. Get at least first some new Anakin gear if you have to make an Anakin figure. Or some good yeah. accessories, unlike or this. Some, yeah, or some good af- figures too. Um, as for articulation, ball hinged head, which really kills the head um ball hinge shoulders and elbows and swivel forearms actually not There's swivel no wrist. wrists yeah uh swivel waist swivel hips and ball hinge knees and one other thing is some of you may have been wondering would the robotic arm from last year's i can figure fit on this one well here is your answer so just take this arm off and try not to destroy it Otherwise, Graham will probably kill me. Um, Not particularly. I have, I have a space suit and I can there, so I'm pretty happy. Yeah, and so there you go. The, the, ro- the robotic yes. arm does fit onto the figure. And if anything, it's pretty cool because yeah. now with the robotic arm on, it kind of looks like Anakin is forced joking somebody like he does. So that could be work interesting in my stop motions if I use this figure and that uh, at some point. But, have to you know. First. I know I will, I'll just take it. <laughs> um, you have but, to kill me first. Okay, that can be arranged. <laughs> You've been forced to choke by Anakin. <laughs> Not uh, happening, dude. 
Yeah, it is. Anakin just, on the Clone Wars is terrible. If it had been the movie one, however, I'd be on the ground screaming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. But, yeah, I mean... Uh, I rated last year's Anakin a 7 out of 10, the 2011 one, so I'd probably have to give this 6. It is marginally worse. Um, the skirt, some people are happy with it. I personally prefer last year's one. Definitely. Um, no ankles again, that just feels stupid. And the head, the face expression and all is good. The edge is killed by those two floors I mentioned Hasbro before. Hasbro slowly killing themselves, long story short. Yeah. They always have been, <laughs> well, especially now, but... Movie figures were great, though. Yeah, overall, the figure, I would not recommend it. Unless you're very new to the line and are a kid. If you're a new collector, <laughs> then definitely not anyway. But unless you're a new kid to the Star Wars, the Clone Wars line, and Star Wars and Hasbro line, Star Wars Hasbro line in general, then I would not recommend it because it is pretty bad. Um, I mean, it does have some... Fatal flaws. Another thing about the skirt part, the parts of it that are plastic, they are falling off as well. As in, like, yeah. they're slowly weathering down. Uh, and anyway, that should do it for this review. Um, I do have some more reviews coming up. Clone Trooper Scythe someday. Um, and some more old reviews. And I do have a lot of stuff on the way. Most recently, the Vintage Collection Arc Trooper Command. I can confirm I've got it. It's on its way. So... Hope you are looking forward to more reviews, especially on 2012 stuff in the future. May the force be with you and happy hunting. <laughs>